Finding the Limit, Mastering English Phrases. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, find the limit. This phrase can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of its meaning and usage. So, let's get started. Find the limit is a phrase that often appears in mathematical contexts but has also found its way into everyday English usage. At its core, it means determining the maximum capacity, extent, or boundary of something. In mathematics, it refers to finding a value that a function approaches as the input approaches some point. However, in everyday language, it's used more metaphorically. Examples in everyday language. 1. Testing boundaries. He's always trying to find the limit with his teachers, seeing how much he can get away with. 2. Reaching potential. As an athlete, she's constantly finding the limit of her physical capabilities. This phrase can be nuanced, often depending on the context. It's not just about reaching a maximum point, but also about exploration and discovery. Variations in use. 1. Inquiry and discovery. In a research context, finding the limit can mean exploring unknown areas or pushing the boundaries of knowledge. 2. Personal growth. On a personal level, finding one's limit can be about self-discovery and understanding one's capabilities and weaknesses. When using find the limit, be cautious not to confuse it with phrases like limit oneself, which has a more restrictive connotation. Remember, finding the limit is about exploration and reaching potential, not self-imposed restrictions. Tips for correct usage. Use it in contexts of exploration and testing boundaries. Avoid using it when referring to self-imposed limitations. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of find the limit. Remember, it's a versatile phrase that speaks to the human spirit of exploration and pushing boundaries. Thank you for joining us and keep practicing your English. Until next time, happy learning!